loading. Okay. I hope this is working. Usually when I do lives, it takes about 30 seconds for the live to actually start. And yeah, let's see. I don't know, I just got an ad. I don't know if it's working. If anyone's here, say hi and I will see. Are oh, you guys got an ad as well? Don't worry guys, we're on the same boat. I also just got an ad. Oh, okay, and I'm getting a second ad with no skip option. Okay, I see how it is. Hi, 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 hello, hi everybody, hi. Okay, everyone is on, hi there. Yay, we're on, hi. Oh my gosh, so many people here. Okay guys, so firstly, thank you for joining the live. Secondly, today we're going to be completing a full illustration from start to finish. By that, I mean sketching, coloring, line art. Oh my gosh, there's so many people. Hi everybody. Oh my gosh, I watch your videos every day. Thank you so much, that's so sweet. You rule, thank you, you're awesome. I'm a big fan, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna get some music going just because, why not? And just let me know if this is too loud, because I don't want it to be way too loud. Sparkle, you're such an inspiration. Thank you. I love your videos. Thank you so much. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Can you please say hola? Hola. <laughs> okay, so let's start drawing. By the way, I actually have no idea what to draw today, so if you have any suggestions whatsoever, pop them below in the comments and I'm gonna pick one at random. I love your videos, thank you. Hi, hi, you draw so perfectly, thank you. You're awesome? No, you are awesome. All of you guys are awesome. Love your art, love your videos, thank you. I love your creative skills, thank you so much. Okay, I'm getting a couple of ideas. Uh, ooh, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. Bunny girl? That is so cute. A vampire? I love that idea as well. A witch? Pumpkin? Okay, I'm seeing the Halloween trend, so before I keep on talking, which I normally tend to do, let's just start sketching the face at least, and then I'll pick an idea. Halloween characters, yeah. I love you, Sparkle. Thank you, Violetta. Ooh, an ice cream girl. That's a cool idea as well. A witch or a girl holding coffee. Oh, that's unique. Okay, so let's get straight into this. No more procrastinating. Starting it off, as always, with a circle for the head. I actually haven't drawn in like three days. As you can tell, my hands are very stiff, but that's fine. We'll get to it. I always love sketching the face first because it just helps me to get in the zone. It's kind of like my way of doing warm-up sketches. Pumpkin witch. Ooh, that is a nice idea. You know what? We might just go with that. We'll see. Or we could just combine everything, but that may become a little bit too chaotic. Again, we will see. Okie dokes. Going with the neck. Is it okay if I draw the same thing as you in my own style? Of course, go for it. I'd love to see what you create. <laughs> I love your videos, thank you. I might just take this off, it's, a kind, of, it's kind of annoying. Okay, we'll just leave that there. And now, the eyes. So if I'm going with a witch kind of character, I want to make her have kind of like an evil expression, but kind of like an evil grin, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to make the eyes kind of like small and the eyebrows like really arched and like a curvy shape with a smile. That's going to look really good. I actually need to fix the face of it. <laughs> Can the character have a black cat as a sidekick? I don't see why not. <laughs> Just remind me later before I forget when I'm sketching. I love drawing the eyes. It's just so much fun, it's so chill. I used to hate it because I used to like try to make it symmetrical and everything, which was super annoying, but now I kind of just go with the flow and I just love drawing the eyes a lot. What is your favorite season? My favorite season is definitely summer. 
I love hot weather and I know it's an unpopular opinion, but hot weather makes me feel more active compared to cold weather. So yeah, I love hot weather. Please make more often. <laughs> uh, it's 1 a.m. for you. Sorry, I can't do anything about that. Time zones are a problem and Australia is kind of on the other side of the world. So it's not really within my control. I love hot weather too. <laughs> What's your favorite show? Well, I mean, I have a lot of favorite shows. At the moment, I love watching Loki, the Marvel one. It's on Disney Plus, super good. But if you ask me for like a cartoon style show, I'd probably say Gravity Falls or Amphibia or Star vs. the Forces of Evil. Honestly, they're all pretty good. But as you can see, the trend is Disney Plus. I'm gonna kind of hurry up the sketching phase because I know if I talk and draw, I'm gonna take ages. But my goal is to draw at least one complete illustration in today's video. And if possible, more. But we'll see. She should be named Zimala. That is a cute name. What are you going to be on Halloween? I don't know. Probably like either a witch or a clown. I haven't done clown before, but I kind of want to see how it'll look. I'm not going to buy too many things. I'm just going to try and make use of what we got at home and create like a fun makeup look mainly. Okay, I'm not liking this, so we're going to erase it and go again. It's okay to erase. As long as you like what you're drawing. Favorite Sanrio character? I don't know. I'm not really that much into Sanrio, but I'm probably gonna say Hello Kitty because I just love Hello Kitty ever since I was young. She's so cute. You're so good at drawing. Thank you. When are you doing a face reveal? I don't know. I don't know. We will see. What's your favorite color? Purple. I love light purple. Kind of like this, but imagine it being more lighter and slightly more saturated. Kind of like actually like a like this. This kind of color. I love it. Thank you so much for doing my pumpkin witch idea. Really appreciate it. No worries. Thank you for commenting that lovely idea. Okay, the face is done. Now, pumpkin witch means fancy outfit, but if I do a really fancy outfit, I probably won't finish in this live stream. So I'm gonna make it kind of simple, maybe not even the full outfit. We'll see how it goes. Or oh, I have an idea. What if I like kind of make a mini sketch here and then over here we do like a full body sketch, but it's kind of like a simple version. It'll make sense, don't worry. What is your favorite book? Harry Potter. Harry Potter is just too good. If you haven't read it, you won't understand. I didn't understand until I read it, but once I did, boy oh boy was it really addicting. Wait, hold on. We want to make her evil. What about that? Evil Pumpkin Witch. This eraser is smudging for some reason. Let me just grab another eraser. Hope this does the trick. It's weird. That usually doesn't happen. My sister is obsessed with Harry Potter. <laughs> Makes sense. Do you like reading? Yeah, sometimes. But if I have to pick reading or drawing, I'd probably go with drawing. I just love the creative freedom that it grants. But I guess that writing a book or a novel also grants that same kind of creative freedom. So I guess they're both pretty good. Nice and evil, looking nice. Beautiful. Background, please. Of course, it's coming up once everything else is done. I'm gonna go with a simple kind of outfit design. Um, usually when I'm drawing outfits, I just make it up. They're not usually practical. And today, I don't see why it has to be any different. We'll just continue going with the same kind of thing. So I'm gonna give her poofy sleeves because you know how pumpkins are kind of roundish. I'm gonna make her sleeves nice and round. 
Then, this is going to be it for this character, but I'm going to redraw her full outfit over here, and then we're going to go ahead and finish the drawing. It's currently been 10 minutes, which means it's going pretty good. <laughs> there are a lot of people in chat. Why did you start a YouTube channel? Honestly, just for fun, because I thought, why not? It might be fun to have a hobby, but then it turned into like a really fun thing, and I've practically been making videos almost every week since the time I first started my channel. I've taken a couple of breaks in between, but it's mainly been me posting every week, if not a couple more times per week. Now time for the hat. go <laughs> sparkle oh, that went, went away sparkle what is the biggest tip as in the biggest art tip um i say this a lot and if you have been subscribed for a while you probably have heard me say it and you might even be fed up of hearing me say this but it's definitely to fall in love with the process because once you fall in love with the actual process of making art it just helps you to worry less about the final product and in that way, it's just nice. It just makes you love drawing and creating even more. I like how this hat is looking. It looks pretty cute. Let's give it like a little pumpkin enamel pin here as well. Beautiful. Maybe some like earrings, like the leaves of a pumpkin. Ooh, I like that. Favorite drawing material? That depends. Usually I would say markers, sometimes watercolors, sometimes pencils, depends on my mood. But usually I'd say markers because it's just easy to use them. Packing up is easy, using them is easy. The entire process is just really quick and easy, which is what I like about it. But when you're like, when you're drawing outdoors or something, I'd probably say watercolors because they're just much more easier to carry and much more lightweight compared to carrying like a hundred markers, which is going to be pretty heavy. Okay, so we've got the character done. I'm gonna make a really quick kind of gesture sketch here. I used to do this a lot back when I was like 12 years old. What I mean by gesture sketch is pretty much just like making a super quick kind of sketch. You draw a line, you draw the top, the bottom, you draw the hands and then you draw the actual outfit. It's like, it's like a super rough sketch, but it's super fun and I like it because of how quick it is. Haven't been doing it that much often though. Are you in Australia? Yes, I am. How do you learn to draw so good? Oh, thank you. I guess it's just practice. I love your drawing style and your tutorials were very helpful too. Thank you so much. How's the dog? <laughs> Mr. June is pretty good. He's just having his nap time right now. I have been subbed since, since 65 subs. Thank you. Okay, now time for the final sketch on top of this quick sketch. And then we're gonna get straight into outlining and then coloring and then we will be able to finish up this join. You should do a meet and greet. Oh, how would that work? And let's just keep going. This one is going to be really simple. It's not going to be too fancy. It's just so that we can kind of have a full view of the dress design, but without having to draw the full dress because that'll take a tiny bit too long if I do it on a larger scale. Sparkles, I wanna learn how to draw in different art styles because I don't really know how to draw animals and all I do is draw characters and I really wanna improve my art, I love to draw. Don't worry, we are on the same boat. I guess it just takes some practicing, some studies and overall it'll just take some time. That is inevitable. Time is a must. But over time, you will definitely improve and become better. Now, I kind of want to do like a round pattern, like a pumpkin. But at the same time, I would imagine a witch having like a kind of stripey design. So we'll just go with this. 
You know what? I have to learn how to draw shoes. I always draw heels because I don't know how to draw shoes. But I guess that's something for me to put on my list of things to do. What if we give her like spider web stockings? That would be trendy. There we go. And we're drawing the heels. Nice and quick and easy. Cool. So now we're going to go ahead and do the outlining and then coloring. Can you believe we're less than two months away from 2024? I cannot believe that. Shocking. Okay, I got this new pencil case and everything is in here. Let's go with... Yeah, we'll go with this one. Oh, and needed a razor as well. How old are you? I am one minute older than I was a minute before. For me, the camera is blurry. Maybe you could try to bring the quality up. If you click on the settings button, it should do the trick. But usually with live streams, it's hard to film it in 4K unless you're like using a different kind of software or something, I think. Because mine always go up to like 720. It's not in my control though. Actually, is it? Let me check. Oh, I can add filters. Oh, that's cool. Can you guys see the difference? Wow, that's pretty cool. But we'll just... Oh, bubbles as well. Wow. We'll just keep it normal though. Do you like K-pop? I mean, I like their songs, but I'm not really that much into K-pop per se. Love your videos, they make me want to draw again. Aw, oh, that makes me happy. You know what, I might just bring you guys in for a closer look at what I'm doing now. That must make some kind of difference to the camera quality, I hope. Who is your favorite artist? Um, I say this during every live stream because everyone always asks me. Drawing with Waffles is my favorite. I love, 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 love her art and it's mainly what inspired me to kind of experiment with my own art style and to try draw things other than just like realistic drawings and portraits and stuff and it was just really inspiring. This is a bit too thin but we'll just keep going, it's fine. Can you believe I've had these fine liners for like three years and they're still working, all of them? Pretty crazy, but I think I just jinxed myself. Do you like Ariana Grande or Taylor Swift? I like them both. I'm not really much into songs and stuff, but I do like them both because I think their songs are pretty good. From what I've heard, at least. Okay, the eyes are looking a bit wonky, but that's fine. No one's eyes are perfect in real life anyways. I love doing loose line art. It's really satisfying and chill compared to doing really perfect stiff line art. It takes a lot longer for me. What is holding your phone? My filming stand. <laughs> Looks nice, thank you. Do you ever draw realistic faces? I used to. Sometimes I do when I'm in the mood, but I don't really do it that frequently. Because like with art, I find that doing what makes you happy is more important than just doing what like society expects you to do. And for me, drawing little cartoon characters makes me happy. So I keep doing that. What is your favorite full activity? I don't know because... It's been a long time since fall happened. We are currently in spring in Australia. So the activities right now are a tiny bit different. I don't know about you guys, but for us, Christmas is in summer and it's interesting to say the least. The eyes look a bit weird, but that's all right. We can fix it up with a bit of eyeliner. Perfect. What is your favorite Taylor Swift song? Um, I guess Love Story is pretty good. I love your drawing so much, Sparkle. Can you do more tutorials? They really help me draw. I am very happy to hear that. I would love to do more tutorials. 
as long as they are helping people, I am very, very happy. I'm sitting at a really weird angle because like my phone is kind of like in front of my face right now. So if the line art kind of messed up, that's the reason why. Hopefully it doesn't mess up though. We'll see. Now time for the hair. Kind of went silent there for a minute. I was just trying to concentrate. <laughs> Okie dokes. Now it's time for this side. Can you please say hi to me and my friend? Hello, hello. You're such an inspiration. Whenever I watch you draw, it always makes me want to draw. Aw, thanks. What's your favorite color? Like I said before, a lilac purple or like a really, really pastel purple. Where do you buy your art supplies? I usually buy them at my local stationery store or like at a $2 shop because honestly, they're pretty good. But for things like Uhuhu markers and like Artex markers, you can't really find them at any stores here. So those things I usually buy online. I need to get, I need to use a bigger marker. This is just not working. Maybe not one that is too big though. Let's go with a 0.7. There we go, 0.7. Could you make a tutorial on how to do line art? I'm terrible at it. I bet you're awesome at it, but I could do that. I'm just not sure what I would talk about during the tutorial though, because I myself am still learning, clearly. <laughs> no, You know what I love a lot? When someone's making a drawing and the entire process is very messy, but the final result turns out stunning, that's what I love and that's what I always personally strive to do. But let's see if that'll work out today. Also, do you like the elf ears? <laughs> Just a fun little touch. Please make a video and draw a demon slayer character. I have a couple of, well, I have a short video and I have a vlog where I did draw characters, but I could make one video dedicated to that if you want that. Do you watch anime? I mean, I haven't watched anime this year, but I did watch some last year. They were pretty good. I think Demon Slayer was my favorite out of the ones that I did watch. I haven't watched the next, I think, season though. Only like up to how much there was on Netflix. <laughs> there are some repetitive <laughs> comments in the chat. It's interesting. Okay, and now Let's wrap up the hair. I mean, not wrap it up, but wrap up drawing the hair and get on to the rest of everything else. Maybe I'll add like a little heart here, because why not? And maybe we can give her a necklace kind of thing. Ooh, a choker would have been nice, but it's a bit too late for that. Just a cute little pumpkin looking thing there we go perfect don't forget the black cat sidekick oh yes thank you <laughs> see i forgot well maybe i'll draw him over here because you know space let's just move everything over a tiny bit and start drawing so little cute nose cute mouth Big eyes. Do you have spark? <laughs> what does that mean to me? Hi, I love your art. You're the best. Thank you so much. Do you like drawing with touch alcohol markers? I have not tried that brand yet, but everyone has been asking me to try it. So maybe I might try it eventually, but 
tell me what's so special about those markers, because I don't know. Let's get you guys even closer in. There you go. A nice view at what I'm doing. Every time I draw a cat, it ends up looking like my dog. So today, I'm trying not to do that. Random question. If you guys have seen Tom and Jerry, do you like Tom more or Jerry more? It's looking good so far. Thank you. What's your favorite food? My favorite food is dumplings. I love dumplings. I love sushi. And they are really good. Oh my gosh, it looks like a cat. What? That's crazy. Now for the hard part, the body. Uh, let's just make it really cute. Tiny chibi buddy. Why does it still look like my dog? Oh, whiskers? Maybe I'll give him like a fun kind of expression. Dumplings are good. Yes, I agree. Your art looks incredible regardless what markers you use. Thank you so much. I just found your channel and I adore your drawings. Thank you. I guess that kind of makes it look a tiny bit better. Anyways, the good thing is we are at the halfway mark and it's time for us to finish the line art, which is a good sign because it means that there's a really good chance we could finish this entire kind of page in one shot. Just to fill up the space, I'm going to go ahead and give this little cat a little kind of box space. And then I'm going to add like an effect to make it look like it's a photo and that we're sticking it on with tape. I love doing this because it just adds such a really, such a cool effect. And it's just a great way to fill up the space. Perfect. Let's keep going. I'm probably going to fix this, but firstly, let's work on this line art before we get back into fixing that. And let's just go a tiny bit higher as well. Bringing back the setup because we like it. And let's keep going. What's your real name? Well, my real name is my real name, but it is also going to be a secret for now. So, <laughs> I don't know if I tell you guys. <laughs> Give the cat a pumpkin costume. I think that is a really good idea. I just don't know how I'm gonna execute that idea. But, like, like a pumpkin hat. Like I see what you're saying. And like maybe like a little costume. But I don't know how to do that. I might need a reference. But for now maybe we'll just draw a little pumpkin down here. Because again it's a really great idea to fill the space. Thank you though. Thanks for the suggestion. I've been watching you for a little while. And I love watching your videos. And I love watching your channel grow and grow every day. Thank you so much. That's so nice of you to say. For me, talking while I'm drawing is not hard. It's just reading the chat and talking and drawing. That's where it becomes a tiny bit hard and constantly checking in to make sure I'm in the frame as well. I love lives, but at the same time, lives are a tiny bit annoying for this very reason. Why does she look like an elf? What is this? It's because of this and that, isn't it? Ooh, give the cat a witch hat. Okay, all right. I like these ideas. Keep them coming. I mean, I like them, but I don't know if I can do them. <laughs> That's a different story. <gasps> Guys, we did it. Yay. Oh my gosh, thank you for the idea. I love it. Also, please tell me your favorite flower. My favorite flower? I don't really know. I just like flowers that are purple and bright. One, two, three, 
four. One, two, three, four, and then join it back up. Perfecto. Going down, going up. I love the messiness of the line art. It's just so satisfying to look at. Sorry if I'm not speaking, I'm just trying to quickly get the line art done so we can color and talk. Okay, there we go, and now let's check the chat again. Hello, what's your video every day? Oh, I, look, I wanna post videos every day, I really do. But it's just a long process to record and edit and upload every day. Although, it would be fun. Maybe if I did like a challenge for a couple of days, like a drawing for 10 days challenge kind of thing, then maybe I could try something like that. I did do that actually when I started my channel. I did the 15 days of Disney challenge. And for that challenge, I drew and posted for 15 days. Sometimes it was in a row. Sometimes there was like a day gap in between because obviously life does tend to get in the way. But that was a crazy challenge, not just because drawing and thinking of ideas took time, but just because I was so new to editing that I just like, I couldn't manage my time, but somehow I got through it. I was going to do something similar for this year, for October, but then again, I got really, really busy. I just didn't have the time to do that. Now to draw the same outfit over here without messing it up, ideally. I love these mini sketches, they're always so cute. You inspired me to keep going and to keep drawing every day and keep up the good work. Thank you so much. I always look forward to your videos after a long day because they always make me feel better. Thank you so much. You guys have no idea how happy that makes me, seriously. That is so, so sweet of you guys to say, and it genuinely makes me very, very happy. I gave her a pumpkin belt. I'm kind of regretting that, but it's fine. This is meant to be like a translucent orange fabric, but let's see if I remember that when I'm doing the actual coloring. I'm actually thinking, should I do the coloring with watercolors or with markers? Because I feel like watercolors might be just a tiny bit faster than markers, but we'll see. I love your videos. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for doing my idea. Thank you for suggesting the wonderful idea. Watercolors, markers, okay. Watercolors, what are we doing? Markers, markers, oh my gosh. Maybe I'll just like see if I can create a quick poll and then we'll see the votes. Oh cool, I can do that, hold on, give me a second. Pick one. So we have watercolors or we have markers and I'm gonna start the poll. Okay, let me know if you guys get the poll and pick one and we'll see what the results end up saying. It's so cool to see it in action. I can just see it like changing every second. Really cool. You earned a new subscriber. Thank you so much for subscribing. Sparkle, you inspire me every single day and I feel motivated to draw. Thank you so, so much. Thank you for being awesome. Thank you for your sweet comment. And now, continuing with the sketch while the poll is still going, and make sure to put your vote in if you haven't already because I will be deciding what to do with this page based on your vote. So you guys can either make it or break it depending on what you choose. The good thing is these Uhuru fine liners work great with watercolors and markers, so that's one less thing to have to worry about. I love drawing heels. I love wearing heels. Heels are just amazing. You know one thing I just can't draw? Well, 
that one thing is that I can't draw a character with long nails or nail polish without making them look like a witch. Oh my gosh, that would have been perfect for this drawing. Ah, didn't think of it before. Too late now. Okay, time to check the poll and see the results. And I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but my poll says markers won by 66%. Okay, so we are going with markers. Sorry for anyone who voted for watercolors. Maybe next time. Just gonna end the poll. There we go. Thank you for voting. 72 votes. That's pretty crazy. Now let's move down a bit and up again. Beautiful. Can you add streaks to the, streaks to the hair? Oh, love that idea. And thank you for being my inspiration for art. Thank you for this sweet comment. How do I remember to add streaks? Maybe I'll just like remember to add streaks where these lines go or something. The problem with me is <laughs> I forget like my ideas really quickly. And that's clearly an issue. We're gonna make this photo a tiny bit wonky to give it like a different kind of feel on purpose. Kind of like that. There we go. Nice and wonky. And now time to just do the line art for the cat and then get straight into the coloring. We are at the half an hour mark, which I think is very, very good. And before that, I'm going to try and fix up the face just a teeny bit. <clears throat> Sparkle, you don't understand. I ran all around my house when you read my comment out. Thank you. <laughs> That's so cute. Okay, that's better. Okay, right, this is looking okay, surprisingly. <clears throat> it's so blurry. Well, it looks fine on my iPad. I'm not sure why it looks blurry over there. Is it to do with the Wi-Fi maybe? Love it, thank you. <laughs> Her name, her crystal, and the cat Amber. Ooh, that's cute. I think someone suggested a name for the character earlier. I think it started with Z, but I forgot. <laughs> um, does anyone remember what the name was, the suggestion? Time for the whiskers, adorable. And now the other cat features. Cute fluffy ears. I love cats. I love dogs as well. I love animals, they're just amazing. Now time for the pumpkin. The way I draw pumpkins is very different to how an actual pumpkin looks in real life, but I'm gonna do what I like to do. And now time for the adorable tail, which I might put on this side just cause we need a bit of space over there. Cute, messy, but cute. Name it Whiskers, that's a cute name. Okay, and now for my needed eraser. Oh, the hat, see? This is why I like to lie to my sketches because sometimes it's really, really easy to lose track of what you're doing. <gasps> Guys, look at the cat face. Look at it, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> I like how this kind of has a diamond effect as well. Looks pretty cute. It's so cute that the cat has a matching hat. I've always wanted to wear like matching cl clothes with my dog, but I don't know how to knit clothes. <laughs> I don't have the patience for that either. But if anyone has ever tried or thought of something like that, let me know in the chat. I'm curious. 
the cat should be named Lily, Luna, Zara, Stella, Abe, Zamona. Ooh, that's a lot of suggestions. You should draw a dog and name it Cat. Have you guys read that book, Pig the Pug? The Pug Named Pig? Such a cute book. Okay, names, we will decide later. But for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and start coloring. Or you guys can brainstorm more name ideas and we can just keep that going. Beatrix. Let's keep name, Zara. Wait, why am I using this? What am I doing? I need this. You know what a fun trick is? I do this sometimes when I'm a tiny bit lazy. And what that trick is, is, you know when you like use an eraser to erase the complete sketch and then you get a bunch of shavings? Well, you can buy stationery that um, specializes in picking up these eraser shavings or you can buy dust free or minimal dust erasers. But for me, a fun trick is just to grab my needed eraser and just kind of roll it on top of these little shavings and that way I can kind of just pick it up and so far that hasn't caused any problems for me. I don't know, just something I do. I wouldn't recommend it, but I do it anyways. Okay guys, time to color. Before that, let's put a nice protective sheet underneath. And for anyone who's wondering, I got this with my Uhuhu markers because I'm pretty sure they come with most marker sets that are Uhuhu. <clears throat> I can't get over this face, it's so cute. Okay, can you please use colored pencils? Well, I could try a couple of mixed mediums, but let's start it off with markers first. I love your videos, thank you. So, um, skin tone. I am here, don't worry, I'm still here. I'm just trying to look for a good marker to pick. Maybe we'll go with eggshell. This is a good color. <clears throat> Let's just swatch it over here. Nice. So we've got eggshell and we're gonna need a blush color, obviously. So, <clears throat> my gosh, my voice, I'm losing my voice. This is way too bright. That's not what I want. I want something more pinkish. To prevent spam, you can put us on slow mode. Thank you. I might just leave it though. You guys can be free to, I guess, comment whatever you want. <laughs> but I might try that out next time just to see how it works. Okay, this is good for shading, but I'm looking for a pink color. I'm not able to find the perfect pink color. That's a bit light. Hold on guys, don't worry. We're almost there, almost there. We'll get there eventually. What about this one? Wow, this color is nothing like the cap. So different. Actually, I might just grab my Artex markers then. This one's good. I know this one's good for sure. And we just need a purple. So let's go with this purple. Okay, and with that, time to start coloring. So let's share my process quickly. This is how I go about it. Step one, pink for the cheeks. I'm gonna be working on both of these simultaneously. Step two, dark shadows. Well, depends how dark you wanna go. Today we're not going that dark, but dark shadows, that's the point. And then, So that's done. I'm going to grab a purple and overlay it on top of the shadows just to give it a nice kind of warm effect because I'm using a nice warm purple at the moment. It looks a bit messy at the moment, but trust the process. So pretty, I can't believe that eyes. Thank you. And now we're gonna grab our skin tone marker and put it over everything and just watch the magic happen. 
this works really well if you have like thick paper I've noticed but with like thinner paper it sometimes doesn't blend out so you got to be really really fast when you're working on this it's kind of like working with watercolors in a way and when I'm working on the face sometimes if I want to go ahead and add some shading I will go ahead and do that during this stage like right now and this is the perfect time to add the nose shading as well whenever you're ready to do that I might need to pick a darker color for that as well. Sparkle, I want to see. I'm so sad. It's so blurry. I'm sorry. I don't know what to do. I don't have the option to adjust the quality and it looks fine for me. Maybe you could try clicking on the settings button on your video and see if you could adjust it there. I'm sorry. I'm not sure what to do. Okay, and voila. The skin has been colored, ladies and gentlemen. People who love her add a pink heart. Oh, that's cute. Sparkle like a star. <laughs> I watch all your videos and I love you so much. Thank you so much for that sweet, sweet comment. I think I need a darker color for the nose, but not too dark at the same time. I love this color, so I'm gonna use this one. It's called Lipstick Natural, and I think I've mentioned it already but it's just a beautiful color. It's great for shading and obviously coloring in the lips in a natural kind of color. Very nice, multi-purpose, full. See what I mean? Beautiful. Aw, so many pink hearts. Thank you. You're so lovely, everybody. Let's keep going with the nose. Beautiful, I love it. And now I'm gonna repeat the same thing here. This one is obviously going to be much more quicker than the previous one because of the minimal space we have to cover. And with that, the next step for us is going to be, <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so much love in the chat. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. OMG, hi Sparkle, this helps because I'm having an art block right now. Aww, art block sucks, but you will overcome it. I believe in you, you can do this. Okay, so we want streaks for the hair. I'm going to go with this brown color as my primary color. And what color should we make the streaks? That's my question now. Comment your idea for the color of the hair streak. Do you want it to be orange or black or pink or blue or whatever color you think? Comment it below. Just remember that we're doing a pumpkin inspired character, so we gotta make sure that the colors we choose work with the color orange. And I don't think blue would work that well, but if you like blue, comment that as well. Okay, it's been 48 minutes, don't worry guys. I believe that we can finish this drawing in time or at least on time <laughs> let's see so satisfying purple 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 there's a lot of purple green that's unique you know what green might actually look nice I think in this scenario but I'm getting a lot of purple so we're probably gonna go with purple Thank you, everybody. Let's just finish up the brown segment of the hair. Same thing on this side. Oh, random question. Also, let me know what you think below. Do you guys like straight hair, curly hair, wavy hair, or any other type of hair? Comment below. What's your dream hair to have? Curly, straight, wavy, or something else. Okay. Purple. I need to pick a good purple. How about... This one looks pretty good. <clears throat> Let's swatch this over here. Oh, I love this purple. We're going with this one. Just a bunch of streaks randomly. 
end. I'm just gonna keep going like that. Okay, this is looking really good. Maybe just one more here. I don't wanna overdo it with the streaks. Wow, there's a lot of different kind of thoughts in the comments, which is really interesting to read. Personally, I like all types of hair. For me, it just depends on mood. <laughs> Love it. Now here's the thing, we're gonna to have to incorporate purple into the actual design along with orange because she is a pumpkin inspired character. So I'm gonna keep this marker handy nearby and let's go ahead and shade the hair. We're going with really simple shading today because that's what I'm feeling like. And then we're gonna work it out. Can you name the witch? Ooh, I like these names. Is that Amaryllis? How do you say? It? Or Sapphire? Nice. Okay. All right, that's not a bad color. I do wish it was a bit less saturated though. That would have been nice. But it's a bit too late to go back. You know what I love? I love making a sketch and just randomly going with the floor instead of having everything planned out. I feel like having everything planned out is kind of what sometimes for me can lead to art block because when I see a drawing not turning out like how I planned for it to turn out, it's a bit disappointing. But when you're going with the flow with something like this, you have no expectations, so it's gonna work out either way. As long as you don't give up. Okay, I like this, looking pretty good. Amethyst, Aridi, Candy. I have a friend named Candy. I like these names. Oh, camera shaking. Hi, you can use watercolor for the background. If you do one, you can include purple in the belt and the bottom part of the dress. I like that idea. I love that idea. Thank you for the wonderful idea. This always happens to me between my live streams, like after one hour of continuously talking into my phone, my voice becomes really dry, but it's okay, we'll recover. Okay, just gonna take a step back and look at this because I'm loving it. You know what I'm thinking? Let's make the lipstick purple. It's gonna be a bold move, but I think I'm ready to commit to it. Oh my gosh, I love this. It's looking so pretty. And then let's blend it out a bit. When I was six years old, I was insanely obsessed with dark purple lipstick. I used to wear it all the time. Oh, don't worry, it was a kid safe makeup set, but it looked so nice. You should name her Paige. I love that name. Okay, music stopped. Let's rewind and play. And now, just gonna repeat the exact same thing again over here. Bit repetitive but i hope it'll be worth it that's the thing with character design you gotta make sure that we can see that we can see the entire character okay nice and now it's time to work on everything else so i'm going to be starting off by grabbing the ideal orange color one that is not too orange but not too weird at the same time so I'm thinking that we pick between let me get the markers out either this one or this one I'm gonna swatch them both and then we can pick this one's kind of similar to the brown which might work out well meanwhile this one contrasts as well which could also help I think that I'm going to go with this one and let's just get straight into it. Okay, so I remember that I said that I wanted this to be orange and we can keep that orange and then we can make this part orange as well. 
What is your favorite hairstyle to draw? My favorite hairstyle to draw is kind of like, well, straight hair is easy to draw, but I like drawing curly hair because of like the process behind it. I find it to be really fun and kind of therapeutic at the same time, which is amazing. Okay, you know what? This is actually looking pretty nice. This is working out pretty good. Thank you to whoever commented that idea before. It is definitely helping me about making the skirt purple and everything. Please name her Zimona. Zimona. Yes, we can do that. Where to write in? What does that name mean, by the way? It's a pretty name. There we go. That's her name now. Let's color this in. And use a bit of the brown for shading okay we're almost at the one hour mark but i feel like that's not going to be a problem because i can color this in five minutes so we'll be fine I'm using the brown for the shading which is working out pretty well and i think i might use the skin tone color for shading the orange which never mind you can't actually see it you're the best thank you how do you make hair not flat well i mean if it's flat that's not a bad thing but I guess adding more shading and giving it dimension will definitely help to make it look less flat. Your handwriting is so pretty. Thank you. Okay, I'm loving how this is looking so far. I actually had my doubts. I definitely did, but it's working out. I love how I can use the same colors to shade it the same colors that I used for the hair. That's just gonna make the entire drawing look so much more cohesive and put together. I'm just gonna grab out a darker color to shade the skirt, but other than that, everything else is gonna be pretty much what's already in the color palette. Lovely. I might also use a darker color to shade this part too, but that's fine. You make me calm, thank you. Do you guys write in cursive in Australia? No, there's no kind of rule that I know of for handwriting. I've just been practicing cursive ever since I was young because I've always loved how pretty it looks and I usually do write in cursive. Again, depends on my mood. Sometimes I like writing long and straight, sometimes round and bubbly. Everything when it comes to me depends on my mood. Do you have tips for drawing digital? I am still learning myself. Um, so no, I don't have any tips at this very moment. So I'm thinking of making this hat purple. And then shading it with the other purple that we used before. You're really good at drawing, thank you. Name the cat Luniana. Oh, that's a cute name. I love it. Also, I'm curious, what kind of videos do you guys like watching on my channel? Do you like watching five ways to fill your sketchbook or things like that or something else? Let me know that in the comment below as well, in the comments below. And this looks so good. Thank you so much. Normally, a sketch this simple would not take me this long. The reason it didn't take me so long is because, obviously, live stream as well, getting in the way. Okay, and let's use the brown to add that extra depth here and there. Beautiful. I love it. It's looking really good. It's always fun to see a drawing come together successfully, which doesn't happen too often in my case during live streams. That's why I usually don't do the entire process. I like Draw With Me videos. Oh, cool. I love everything. You really inspire me and give me ideas to draw. Thank you. Coloring is gonna be messy, but that's totally fine. Messy can be amazing as well. 
No, this is the same color palette as the drawing that I made in my last video. If you guys haven't watched that, make sure to check it out. It was a very chaotic video, but turned out looking pretty nice in the end, even though the entire process when it came to coloring was very chaotic. Turning things into humans, five ways to fill your sketchbook. That's cool. <clears throat> I wish you guys could hear the marker sounds. They're so satisfying. Time for a sip of water. You're an amazing, amazing artist. Thank you. The drawing looks great. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, guys, it has officially been one hour. So I'm going to try and wrap this up in the next 15 minutes or hopefully 10. We'll see. This lays so much. Thank you. I love the color scheme. Thank you so much. Any art blog tips? Ooh, I guess kind of just give yourself a break and then force yourself to draw. <laughs> it usually helps me. It doesn't matter what content you make. I know that you'll make something beautiful every time. Aw, thank you. I watched almost all your newer videos more than twice. Aw, thank you. So sweet. to shade because I'm going so fast the ink is kind of spreading but I hope that I can make it work at the same time random question as well do you guys like drawing when you're by yourself or when you are in public really random but the other day I took my sketchbook out in public and I was making a drawing and obviously you know when you're drawing the entire process isn't gonna look amazing it's gonna come together in the end but you know the starting phase and this phase is going to look a tiny bit off and a tiny bit weird so it was really weird when people were like watching what I was doing but I'm happy that they were there to see the drawing come to the end and they liked how it turned out I think I need to add a bit of the skin tone underneath. By myself, by myself. Yeah, I see how it is. <laughs> I agree. Sparkle, I'm a huge fan. I'm actually, oh, hold on, in the process of making a fan art video. Oh, that's cute. Do you have any tips? My tip is to follow your heart. By myself, 100%. If people are staring at me, I just can't draw properly. I know, right? The pressure is on when they are staring. Just this random pressure comes out of nowhere and you can just feel it. <laughs> what color should I color this? Maybe we'll go with like a dark. I haven't used black yet. Okay, we'll use black. My friends and I love drawing. Oh, yeah. Drawing with friends is a whole other story. That is fun. What I mean is drawing in front of people who are not your friends, but you know them, but you're not that close kind of awkward okay I'm loving this I completely forgot about the earrings I have to go back and do that I don't care about what others think about my art I just care about what I think about my art and if someone calls it ugly or something I will just ignore it and keep drawing all because of you you know what uh, that is that is beautiful I love that Definitely do not care what others say about your art. That is very, very important. If someone is giving you like feedback on how to improve, like positive feedback, then you may choose to take it on board, but no one has the right to tell you that your art is bad or ugly or anything. No one's allowed to say that. <laughs> Everyone is just doing what they love and people need to learn to be okay with that. Just let people do what they love. Hi Sparkle, I absolutely love your videos. You inspire me to draw so much. Just wondering where the markers from. Firstly, thank you. Secondly, these markers are from online. So I got them online, pretty much.
What color should I make the boots? Obviously the same color palette. Maybe I'll make them orange. The tips can be like purple. And then for the eyes, I'm gonna try orange eyes because I'm feeling like it. I know it's gonna look creepy, but maybe that's what I want. Maybe with some orange as shading. Now it just looks brown, Never mind. Sparkle, you inspired me, oh, it went away, to ask my family to have a YouTube art channel, but I'm so scared to post anything. Do you have anything that happened at the start of your channel? Don't be scared, just go for it. Believe in yourself. But just make sure, if you're young, ask for your parents' help, but otherwise, you can do this. Believe in yourself. Just do what you love, and the people who love to watch you do what you love will automatically just join your channel. Remember me when you get a million subs. Of course, Cupcake. You know what, it's so funny. Well, not funny, but like really crazy because when I had, I remember exactly, when I had 76 subscribers, I posted a short video where I drew Moana in my art style and someone commented there, they were like, remember me when you're famous. And I was like, that's so sweet and everything. And I just, I'm shocked because that finally happened. We are almost at 100, thousand subscribers how did we get here it's crazy thank you guys so so much it literally means so much to me i can't even express how much it means and it makes me so so happy also how did this drawing come together i was just talking and i looked back at it and now it looks so pretty what love this i just want i want to be just like you you are so kind and everything about you is awesome. Thank you. That's very sweet. Time to shade and... Okay, guys, we're almost at the end. We're gonna finish this drawing right now. So, first step. What color should I make the background? Well, I want the hat to be a purple color. Well, you guys said black cat, but now if I call the cat in a dark color, will I be able to see the cat? That's a different story. Maybe I'll make the background light purple. That might look good. And then we'll work with everything else. So starting off with the background because I want to see what we're going to be working with. I need to pick the right color. When you first started drawing, did you show anyone your drawing? Yes. <laughs> I showed my parents. I showed my friends in class. Um, literally anyone who came to my house i'd be like oh hey i have a sketchbook well back then i called it my visual art diary and i would be like hey can you look at my sketchbook can you like look at my art and everything i just love the compliments it was fun sparkle life has been so hard for me lately oh i was gonna give up but i found you you inspired me to do art and really saved my life you don't know the impact you had on me oh i'm so happy that i could help bring a bit of sunshine into your life but if things are getting hard just remember that you have people around you that always love you they'll always be there for you and you can get through anything just never give up believe in yourself because i believe in you are a4 sketchbooks better i haven't tried one before with me i generally switch <laughs> between sketchbooks i switch between the brands and i switch between the sizes I've personally found that A3 sketchbooks are not my thing. I've also found that A4 sketchbooks used to be my thing, but are currently not my thing anymore because I just find that they add too much pressure for me. Because this is like a big page to fill and I gotta like fill out the rest afterwards with some kind of design. Personally, I like A4 sketchbooks. But like I said, that is just my personal opinion and your opinions can be different. I'm so excited that we're almost done with this drawing. After a long, long wait and a lot of stressing and drawing and chatting, we are finally at the very end of this process. So excited. What's your favorite brand of markers? Well, my top three favorite brands of markers are, and in no specific order are, Prisma Color, Uhuru, and Artex. I love all of them very much, and they are the main three marker brands that I use, aside from the smaller brands that you can get at like the dollar store and other local stores. These ones are my favorite. 
I love my Ruby markers and Artex markers equally. Who's your favorite original character? Honestly, I haven't drawn my original characters in a long, long time. I forgot their names, I forgot how they look. So this is a good reminder. Maybe I should start drawing them just a tiny bit more often. Okay, almost at the very end of this video. Just gonna color in our sweet little kitten and then do the background and we will officially be done. I have no green on this page, which feels weird considering that I drew a pumpkin, but it is what it is. That is a very, very vibrant green color. Let's see if we can use the purple to kind of mute it out a bit. <gasps> Yay, that did the trick. That did the trick perfectly. And I'm gonna use the blue again to add shading like what I did before. I'm gonna also try and blend it out a tiny bit. You know what's really annoying? When I open my markers, some of the ink splatters on the page and it's super annoying because obviously it's staining the page in places I don't want it to be stained. I don't have any brush markers, any tips for bullet tipped alcohol markers. I don't have any specific verbal tips, but I can show you some things that I used to do when I only used bullet tip markers because when I initially got my marker set, they were bullet tipped markers. And it was kind of, I guess, interesting to find ways to blend with them. But eventually I got there and I found a technique that worked for me. Then I got my brush tip markers. I feel like they're not that hard to blend with either way, but you just need different techniques for different nibs. It's the same as using different kind of brushes, like with watercolors or paints. Each brush needs to be used with a, spe uh, with a specific technique. It's kind of like that. You're my favorite artist, don't tell the others. Aw, thanks, Layla. You should start an art class. Believe it or not, people in real life have also been asking me the same thing. We'll see. We'll see. What? might happen in the future. We don't know. Ah, I can't even like put my hand here because everything's in the way. My goodness. <laughs> this is annoying. And let's make our way down. Beautiful. Now for the slightly scary part, I'm going to grab like a brown, not brown, a blue gray marker and color in our cat. I'm gonna start off with a light one because obviously there's no going back and then we'll slightly develop the colors and get darker and darker and darker as we go. Also, maybe I'll add a bit of blush as well. It's weird that the blush is on the whiskers, but again, can't do anything about that. Hello, hello. Okay, now this color looks like Tom. Oh yeah. I wanted to ask a question before, I'm not sure if I actually asked it or if I just thought it, but I'll ask it again. If you guys have watched Tom and Jerry, comment below your favorite character, Tom or Jerry. You know what? Let's make a poll. I'm gonna make a poll for that as well because polls are fun. Just give me a minute. Plus, poll. Who's your favorite? And then I'm gonna add the characters, Tom, Jerry, and who's that? <laughs> okay, let's see how this goes. Now back to our cat. I obviously do have to make it darker because there's a problem with the contrast at the moment. Unless we change our black cat into a brown cat, that is also a potential option, which I'm not hating. Let's see how that might look. Okay, I'm actually liking this. It kind of matches with the witch's hair as well. I mean, Zimona's hair. I like it. We just need to add a bit of shading, obviously. But other than that, it looks pretty good. Can you guys see the pole? 
because right now Tom is winning, which is pretty crazy because I always thought people like Jerry because I mean, Jerry's more of the innocent type, typically in most episodes. 12% of you guys asked who was that? Wow, I'm shocked. If you guys haven't seen Tom and Jerry yet, watch Tom and Jerry. It's like the best show of all time. This kitty cat is looking adorable. Now, if I had this type of cat, I'd probably end up naming them probably Milo, Choco, Cookie, or <laughs> one of those names of a dessert that's round just because that's how cute they look. Let's go, Tom's still winning. I meant to vote for Jerry and I voted for Tom. Whoops. <laughs> Is your favorite part of art the line art, coloring, or sketching? I love coloring. That is really cool. I like... It, it changes all the time. Like I said multiple times in this video, everything depends on my mood. But usually, I would say that my favorite part is sketching. Last year, I remember I said coloring at some point. Then I said line art at a different point. But now I'm going to say sketching just because like... That's where I feel most the most free out of all the stages, but it can always change, especially with a person like me. It looks so cool when you lay the orange on top of the purple. I love how that looks. And now I'm going to go ahead and color in the rest of the background, maybe add a bit of texture here actually. Because why not? Okay, 77 minutes, no worries. Ever thought of having a collab with other creators? Yes, I have done multiple collabs on my channel when I was initially starting out as, you know, a young, fresh, new content creator. I did collabs with other art channels, which was so much fun. All the art channels I've done collabs with were super amazing, super sweet people making wonderful art, and I genuinely love collaborating with them. But I've kind of stopped doing collabs at this moment because if, because obviously my subscriber count has gained, and because of that, whenever I do a collab, I get like a lot of emails from other lovely, lovely people asking if we can collab. But obviously, as one person, it's really difficult to collab with hundreds of other people simultaneously. And because of that reason, I've kind of stopped doing collabs momentarily. But I might eventually get back into it when I'm feeling just a tiny bit more ready. What other color to use? I don't know. We'll just keep going with this. And with that guys, we are officially done with the coloring and now it is time for the white gel pen highlights and we will officially be done with this drawing or at least the top half of this page. I'm going to figure out something for the bottom half, but that's probably not going to be during this live stream. I have not looked at the chat in a couple of minutes. Whoops. Hello Sparkle, for the next drawing, can you do an ice cream girl? Ooh, I have done that before and it was such a fun challenge. I made a girl with like a top and each layer of her top was meant to be a different kind of ice cream flavor, which was such a cool idea in my head and it turned out looking pretty good. I might try and redraw that drawing again at some point. It was lots of fun. I'm just adding color randomly at this point because why not? It looks a bit crazy, but crazy is nice. And we'll bring this up a bit higher as well. Beautiful. I love it. It looks really nice. And now time for the white gel pen highlights. 
Okay, now I'm looking at the poll. Tom is on 46% and Jerry is on 48%. Shocking, honestly shocking. <laughs> it looks great, thank you. Time for the white gel pen highlights. And then time to officially say that I'm done with this drawing. Not this page, but this drawing. The page I will fill in afterwards. Let's take you guys in closer. I lost my sketchbook and I have been looking for it for five days. I can't imagine how bad that would feel. I hope you find your sketchbook. Wishing you all the luck to find it. But if you can't find it, don't stress yourself out too much because of it. You can always create more wonderful drawings with your new sketchbook. And hopefully the person who found your sketchbook loves your art. Jerry will catch up. <laughs> Let's see. Tom is currently winning. And now for the highlights. Hello, gel pen. Are you working? What's wrong with my gel pen? Interesting. It's quite literally not working. I love it. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you. Hi, I was just asking if you could make a coloring book. Ooh, that is a fun idea. I could do that in the future and that would be fun to do. Okay, now it's working. I have no idea why it stopped working earlier. Because it does have ink in it, so I don't know what's going on with that. I was looking at the camera and drew the dot a bit too low. Oh no, it's okay, I'll fix that. Whenever something happens with your art, just don't give up. Keep going because you can always fix up your mistakes and create something beautiful. Like that. Gorgeous. Let's just add a thicker line here as well. Perfect. Would you rather fight 10 zombies? What? With the size of chickens? Or 10 chickens with the size of zombies? Wow, that is, that's a really unique question. I'd probably fight 10 chickens because maybe if I gave them something yummy, they'd like leave me alone. But with zombies, obviously they want to eat people. <laughs> so probably not zombies. I do highlights differently for the hair every time. This time we're doing it kind of like this because that's what I'm feeling like. Let's add some dots for the necklace. And a fun little line, then some more highlights here and there. Because why not? What are you going to draw on the bottom? I'm probably gonna like draw the same character, but using my new brush pens that I got recently. Maybe something like that. We will see. Or I could just find some paper and then stick it in and then draw like some doodles on top of that but whatever I'm gonna draw it's gonna be within the same color palette because I want this page to look kind of cohesive and everything no Jerry <laughs> Tom is winning honestly I love Tom but I'm quite shocked that Tom is winning I love drawing dresses like this I'm kind of obsessed with it. I love poofy sleeve dresses. They're so satisfying as well. What's the time? Okay, that's all right. I have done live streams that have gone for longer, so this should be fine. I'm still surprised you managed to finish the entire drawing. I think this is the first time I've actually started and finished an entire drawing all in one live stream. I guess there's always going to be a first for everything. I keep forgetting to look at the chat. <laughs> My bad. What do you think about the Cali Art markers? I have not tried them yet, so I do not know. I have an idea. How about a video where you can draw Tom and Jerry? That would be fun. I actually did draw Tom and Jerry about one year ago in my art style as humans. 
That was such a fun challenge. I didn't record it, unfortunately. Kind of wish I did, but I didn't. But it's all right. Okay, I'm just gonna put the camera like this for a second because there's just something I gotta fix. Okay, all good. Put more back on top. And now I'm just gonna continue with the same kind of highlights and details here. And I think I'm gonna end this live stream in probably a minute or so. There we go. Wait, wait, before that, before that. Final name suggestions for the cat. Let me know in the chat, quickly. Final name suggestions. I'm gonna pick one at random. And <laughs> commenting the same thing again and again will make a difference. I'll just pick one at random. I love drawing these stitch effects, they're so cute. Okay, there we go, chat's blowing up. <laughs> Okay, Chester, that's a cool name. <gasps> Pumpkin! Oh my gosh! Why is that so obvious but so cute? Katie, Pumpkin, Laura, Chester, Katie. Okay. I have made my decision and I have decided that we are going to go with a drum roll please we are going to go with pumpkin the cat because it's such a cute name thank you to whoever commented that i really love that name like pumpkin the cat stop that's adorable let's put a little arrow up there and come down and then write pumpkin <laughs> i love love that name it's so so cute Now for the final highlights. And that is officially it for today's live stream. Thank you so much to everyone who joined and commented in the chat and said all those sweet, sweet things. I really appreciate it. And yeah, here's how this page turned out. Here's the grand reveal. Let's put this back on because I'm done drawing anyways. And that's how it looks. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys all had a fabulous time. I hope you drew along and everything. And just a quick check-in on the poll. Currently, Tom and Jerry are tied at 42%. And, yeah. So, I'm going to end this live stream in a minute. Maybe I'll just pack up with you guys on the live, because why not? Congrats, pumpkin. <laughs> I'm gonna rewatch this whole video later so I can really follow along. Aw, oh, thanks. Looks absolutely amazing. Thank you, thank you. Can you do another hair tutorial? We could do that. That would be a possible option. Okay, now let's just put everything away. Packing up is oddly satisfying for me. It's like my form of therapy. Finished your chapter of a comic. That's amazing. It looks fabulous. Thank you. Your art is amazing. Amazing. It looks so good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Time to zip up this pretty pencil case. Put that over there. And these are all the markers that I used today. Well, I didn't use all of them. I did take all of them out. But I mainly used, you know, the colors that I used. And I'm gonna end the oh, whoopsie daisy. And I'm gonna end the live stream there. Again, thank you so much to everyone who made it, and I hope you guys will have a very, very nice day. Bye.